Hi folks, welcome to this episode of Vern's Misadventures. Hey, before we jump in, I'd like to personally invite all of you to check out our new travel vlog. Yes, my wife and I have started a second YouTube channel where we will be putting our travel vlogs, which namely is our cruise videos and uh, rides we might take, things like that. So uh, I took this particular background picture, I took it, from the uh, balcony of the Carnival Vista on a recent cruise. So if you'd be interested in looking at that, then I will leave a link in the description for our new travel vlog channel. I would love it if y'all would like to subscribe and check back for new videos every now and then, huh? So let's get into this, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and hide my mug. Now, what we're going to talk about on this one is the Clementine Media Player. Oh, so we go here, we go help and about, about Clementine. So, if you wanted to know more about Clementine, they have a website, of course. This is open source software, and it is available for Windows, Mac OS X, and also Linux. Now, it's available in most of the repositories for most of the distros I've used. This is Arch Linux, and it was available in the community repository. So, assuming you've probably included the community repository in your setup, you've probably got it in yours. Looking at their website here real quickly, the current version is 1.3.1. .1. Now, here's what's pretty cool. There is a remote control that you can get for your Android phone. And, say... Here's a use case that I thought of. Maybe you've got this playing on a computer or whatever, and you've got your your library loaded up on that on the hard drive on that thing, right? And you've got some music playing, you're entertaining guests, whatever else, and then maybe you want to stop the music for some reason or play a different playlist or add a song, remove a song, whatever. You can do all that from your smartphone if you install the remote on your Android phone. You can do that. So I checked it out and it is pretty cool. So I tried uh, showing how you might do that with, uh, or tried to show how it works and it was just horrible. So I'll just let you check it out for yourself. <laughs> but you can do a lot of cool stuff with the remote. You can add, create, search, all kinds of stuff for your playlists and uh, all that. So let's get out of the uh, web browser and I'll show you the player itself. So this is your Clementine player. So when you select library over here on the left side, you'll have access to whatever you defined as your library. You do that through the tools, and then you can go over here to preferences, and under library, you can add or remove files to your heart's content, right there. And so when that's done, once you're done with that, you can close that and you're good to go. It'll take a while to update the library and add all of your music in, but once it's in there, you're good to go. If you're going to play music that isn't not necessarily in your library, there's a couple different ways you can add it. Drag and drop works. So we want to add music. You can yeah. So you can add one. You can drop one file. That works. Or you can add many files, right? And of course, you know, this isn't about the file manager, but you can do it that way. Another way you can add music is to go to the music tab here and open file. And then of course this is already pointing at my copyright free music file. And so we can just kind of shift and click and we select them all and we go open. And then we have two of those, so we'll remove one. And da, 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 da. remove from playlist. So yeah, right click, you get a context menu, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it, with your playlist. Okay, so what makes this video, or, or this media player, any different than most of the other ones available for Linux, like your uh, Rhythm Box and all that, right? Maybe your SM player. Well, visualizations. Visualizations, that's what makes this different. Look at here, it actually has visualizations. Now I found this uh, several years back 
because I was looking for one that would play visualizations. Now, here's how you do this. You just right click on the screen when the visualizations are up. And you can select your visualizations. Now, right now I've got it set up to choose from the list and I have a couple of them selected. You can also click select none to reset all your selections to nothing. You can do a random click OK. So when that happens, it starts randomly selecting visualizations. But you can also set up the interval at which they change. So you can also select your your frame rate. So we put this at 60. You can select your quality and go super high or a lesser one if you wanted. There's a lower one, a little fuzzier. This particular rig should be able to handle uh, the super high. We'll try it. Anyway, so there's your visualizations. And one last thing about them before we move on to something else is we go to, you can select choose from the list. And right now all of them are selected. So you can select none and then you can just choose a couple. You can choose even one if you wanted to. And you can look at it before uh, before you get married to it as well. So let's go ahead and deselect that. So you can just go down the list and see which ones you like. That one there's kind of cool, so we'll go ahead and select that one. And we'll select uh, about three. If you only select one and you click OK, then it obviously it's not going to change. It's going to stick with that one. There might be times when you want that. But if you go through and check, select a few, then it can switch at whatever interval you want to decide upon between the ones you select. So there's the three, and we go OK. So now every five seconds, it'll switch between those three. Um, so you can just close that box whenever you're done with it. This also has an extras thing here. You can <laughs> add some background noise to your music. I don't know why you would do that, but you could. Look at there. That'll add some thunderstorms. And you just toggle it back off if you don't want it. For the most part, it's pretty good. Now, this being the Christmas season, I'm not going to play the music because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But I will show you how you can use some of the search features. So while you're in your library, you can simply type in Christmas. And then if you look down here in all these selections, this will be all of the songs or albums relating to Christmas. So you want to choose, if you choose the Eagles, all right, then you got then it comes up with this song here and if you added that to your library or added to your playlist it would play it. It's playing it now. I've just got the volume turned all the way down so we don't get a copyright strike. There we go. So you look for Aussie and then you go over here. I think it was on this one. Yeah. So then you can select your album. I think this is an album. So here's Bark at the Moon, if you put that on there, you get all the songs on there. And then you get... So if you were to select Bark at the Moon, it would play that. And then you could look for your song info. Okay. And there it is. So here's some information from Last FM, and then you could look at your lyrics from different sources, right? So if you like that, if you trust that source or you want that source or you check them out on the other ones. So there's some options there. And um, basically you can do all that. So then it also has the ability to look at playlists. 
you can save your playlist like if I want to save this one I could click over on the little disk and I could save the playlist and name it so there's some of the features of the library you can search and whatnot and look through all that stuff and uh, it's pretty well it's pretty easy to use for the most part pretty intuitive so let's see what else you could do here I guess that's about it you can add podcasts you can do different things with it um, let's see here if you go click on the internet then it could show you some of the stuff you can get access to these sources for your radio streams and whatnot devices any devices you have plugged in your computer you could mount and open from them uh, we already covered that you could play a disc right or maybe we didn't so you could open an audio CD you can open a file which we showed that so that's pretty much the Clementine player overview that I wanted to show you and I think it's pretty cool especially when you couple it with that remote that you can put on your Android phone that's pretty neat so with that I want to thank you for watching and invite you to subscribe to my channel if you have not <laughs> hey y'all take care